when we talk about community, I mean, being in a community of women that are, you know, entrepreneurs and we're all just like, we're all really rooting for each other. We're all really trying to help lift each other up. And unfortunately, we don't always see that in, in a lot of spaces, right? So usually there's more like the competition pieces there or there's comparisons happening or I mean, just all kinds of stuff. And so it's nice to be a part of a community where all of that is left at the door. And it really is like supporting one another, encouragement, really try to help each other out. And and what I, you know, and you see people who, whether it's volunteering their time to help, you know, other people out and kind of share their expertise, like all these different things and the events, all of it. It's just really, really nice. One thing that I really like is there's this, um, there's a combination of spaces that are virtual and then you have, you know, networking, there's a co-working space, obviously, but having both is kind of nice because I can get that sense of what the community is like in a way that maybe works for me, which could be on a Zoom, like accountability call where there's not 150 people, but there's a few people and I can start to see some faces. I'm still at home, so I feel safe and comfortable. But then maybe when I am ready to take that next step and go into the co-working space, maybe I see some of those faces that I saw on a virtual call, right? So it kind of helps me to feel like I'm not walking into a space where I'm not going to know anybody in there at all. And like, okay, let me try to like, you know, navigate this. Um, so I think that's really helpful. I have two littles under the age of five. So working from home doesn't always um, work out the way that I want it to. So having, I was someone that would like occasionally go to the coffee shop where there's some, there are some spots in my community where I'm like, this seems like a good space to work. But then doing calls, like I can't hear the other person or my background's all crazy. like there's even more distractions. I'm like, I might as well just stay at home. So, <laughs> so when I started working or using the co-working space at Hair Hub, it was just like, oh, this is perfect. Like there's no distractions. It's just, it's really great. It takes all those little things that you're just like, how do I figure out this? Or how do I work around that? And like, you don't have to worry about any of it. So, you know, it's, it's really bringing it all together because it's like, well, I can work in peace. I can network with people if I want to. I can attend an event. Like, I just like that it's, you can make, really plan out your week of like, what do I need in this season of building my business? What is it that I need? And here are all the pieces from that. This is what my week schedule will look like. The benefit of, of the co-working space, you know, adds a lot of value and, and helps you see that investment because when you're able to work more consistently and if like efficiently right with your time then i get more things done and and those things those tasks that i'm trying to get done as an entrepreneur and especially as one that's like kind of at the beginning of the journey are really like foundational for i need to get these things done so that my business can be like successful and up and running and so being able to get more things done in the week is that in itself i think is worth the investment and then i've um, been able to meet with like some of the gurus and and be a part of that um, and have received some really great just tips and you know different things I went to there was like a planning workshop that they did an all-day strategic action planning workshop is what it was called yes <laughs> yeah. that was a game changer I mean I would say that has been that's like my top top three right there I mean I, the workbook that we got, um, the, I mean, all of it, I could go through the whole agenda and it just, all of it was so good. And, and, you know, sometimes you go to trainings and you're like, that was really good. But then you don't really necessarily apply, um, what, you know, necessarily, you don't apply everything that was like spoken about or things like that. And this was one of those, because we had our laptops open, we were actively plugging things in and making it real, like using our information for our business and applying everything that they were teaching. And so it was like, you walked away with, an, with a plan for the year, you know, and it wasn't this like theoretical, like, here are some things that you should apply. It was no, nope, like, how does this work for your business and your numbers? Um, and with the guidance, you know, of people there. So 
yeah, that was definitely, that was my favorite. I recommend that for anyone. <laughs> That's awesome. Yeah. It's like just getting it done, right? We do yes. all these workshops and then you have piles of notes and then someday I'm going to implement this and yes. you have to do, right? And so yeah. when or you design- spend the time, like you take the time to go to a workshop, but that took up your whole work day. So then you're like, well, I guess I'll do this tomorrow. I do it next week. I was like, well, that was my work day. I mean, I had a solid work day with them at Hair Hub and I was like, That's great. It's fantastic. Yeah. Numbers yeah. done, <laughs> yeah. goal set, marketing mm-hmm. plan implemented, like yeah. all the do. big like sections of what you need to create or to have goals around and tasks around, like all of that was addressed. 